So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the locked on stabilization effect. Now the locked on stabilization effect is a very simple effect to do and you may have seen it used in your favorite YouTubers videos, in Instagram reels, in TikToks. It's all over the place. It's very simple and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it in DaVinci Resolve today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now we are in DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna tell you guys, we're gonna make our way over to the Fusion tab. Don't be worried though. Everything's gonna be okay, all right? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make sure that we have Media 1 selected. We're gonna hit Shift and then Spacebar. Then we're gonna go type in P-L-A-N-A-R and then a planar tracker is going to appear. We're gonna add that in, okay? You following me so far? Hopefully you are. So now, uh, I'm going to go to about the middle of my clip right here. I'm going to set my reference time here. And now what you want to do is change the tracker from point to hybrid point area, motion type to translation. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select the subject that we want to track. So in this case, I want to track this lady's face. So I'm just going to make a little box around it. it doesn't have to be perfect. DaVinci Resolve is pretty smart. Okay, so now what we want to do, now that we have our subject selected, is we want to go over here and we want to track to the end. And you can see DaVinci Resolve is working its magic and tracking the subject for us. Then we're going to want to hit track to start. And now it's going to play in reverse and uh, it's going to track to the beginning. So now we've told DaVinci Resolve what we want to track. Now what we want to do is change this operation mode up here from track to stabilize and now you're gonna see we are going to get a result that looks really goofy okay because obviously you see there's a bunch of blanking here so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to go down here make sure our planar tracker is selected hit shift and spacebar again and now this time we're gonna type in XF and we're gonna add a transform node okay you following me hopefully you are all right so now what you want to do is I typically like to go to the place where it's blanking the most in my clip where you can see the most uh, dead space so right about here we'll say it doesn't have to be perfect and what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the size here we're gonna zoom in okay so now we just want to go through and run through our clip real quick and make sure that we don't see any blanking and you can see at the very end, there's a little bit. So I'm actually going to zoom in just a little bit more. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the pivot. So I'm going to change this so that it's moved over just a little bit. I kind of want her to be in the center of the frame anyways. So I'm going to try and achieve that here. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so then we go to the beginning. And now we can see where all our hard work pays off. So you can see that's that's pretty cool, right? Um, it looks a lot harder than it is, but uh, yeah, now she's she, we're tracking this this lady's head and everything is working just how we want it. So that's that's it. That's basically how simple it is. Hopefully you guys found this helpful and I hope to see you back here again for another video. If you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.